Hello? Is it working? Hi everyone! So I'm going to be doing something a little different today. I'm going to be using VRChat to record myself instead of what I usually do. Um, now we're not going to be playing VRChat today, but today I'm going to teach you how to become an absolute god at navigating in Paint Tool Sci, or any other drawing program for that matter as they usually work the same, generally, kind of. Um, but follow, follow the steps that I, that I show you today and see if you can incorporate them into other programs. So without further ado, let's get started, shall we? Now you guys should be able to see behind me. Or not. Okay. Uh, that's weird. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god, look at that! Woo! Okay, check that out guys. I'm in Psy! Woohoo! Okay, this is gonna make it so much easier. I can like... Touch my drawing. <laughs> oh, that's so cool! Now I'm gonna make myself a little small. Just so you guys can see easier. Well, So, I'm gonna show you how I use my Wacom pen to basically navigate in Paint Tool Sci as if it were, as if I were using a keyboard. Um, I'm not sure if that makes too much sense, but hear me out. If you own a Wacom tablet or any digital tablet of any kind, it, the pens usually have two buttons on them, in which case I'm going to be taking advantage of to make navigation in your drawing software just that little bit easier. Yeah, so what I'm going to teach you how to do is, uh, okay, so instead of showing you the camera of my pen, I'm just going to draw a, a basic pen. Uh, this may look familiar to you guys. So yeah, the, usually the default setup is, the first button is set to middle click and the second button is, is set to left click. So I'm going to teach you how you can set different keys uh, to these buttons. So what, let me explain. So what I've done... In my setup, I've set the bottom button down here is space plus left click. Also, that is right click, sorry. Um, so I've set that button there to space plus left click. Now, this may be different in whatever program you're using, but space and left click usually is navigate. So holding down space and clicking on the, the tablet is to navigate around. Now what I've done, so since this button is mapped to space and left click, all I have to do is press that button and it navigates automatically for me. Wow, how cool is that? Okay, that's pretty cool. Actually, no, that's really cool. That makes life a lot easier. I've, now trust me when I say this because I've been messing around with a bunch of hotkeys to map these two and I found that space plus left click this just makes life that whole lot easier, especially when you just have to press one button to navigate your scene. Oh, isn't that cute? Okay. Now, the next shortcut is, well, at least my preference for this one is control. Are you ready for this, guys? Z. I know a lot of you are used to holding down, like keeping your hand around that area, which is control and then pressing Z. But since I'm a lazy boy, I've set it to control Z on that button on its own, just to make life easier for me. So if I really wanted to, I could finish this line art all with one hand. Now if that doesn't sound cool to you, I don't know what does, and I'm sorry you're gonna have to look for another video. But hey, I can navigate my scene, undo mistakes as I go. And it just makes life so much easier, especially if you want to give your left hand a rest. Now, personally, I don't use that, um, I don't use this one too much, but another alternative to that is by setting shortcut keys. Okay, so, what you basically have to do, well, at least me, I've set the button Z to undo instead of pressing Control Z. Now, that's just a me thing, as pressing Control Z is, um... It's just a little more awkward, in my opinion, so I prefer to press Z. So, 
Drill something, press Z. Drill something, press Z. Yeah, I, Z is much easier. Just change it to Z, guys. Trust me, it's, it's worth getting used to. But, if you don't like that, you can always set this button to something else. Now, with the first button here, you may have noticed that I managed to set it to a keyboard press and a click. Now, this took me a while to find, but if you open your Wacom properties, um, and you check over here, so this is the default what comes with it. Now, I've made a profile here, and I've set this one to a modifier. So a modifier basically allows for keyboard clicks and also mouse clicks. So if we open that, here you can see I've set it to left click and space. Now, if you're using a different program which navigates with different short keys, you might have to change it to whatever that program uses. Um, but at least for Psy, um, this is the default um, input for navigation. So just tick space, tick left click, and then that should be it. That's, that's basically all you do. Now you can, for this button, if you want, you can set it to rotate. So basically, rotating in paint tool sign is alt space and then left click, right? Uh, so I might actually try this now. Let's try setting it to rotate. Uh, so if you go to modifiers, uh, alt space click. So left alt space and left click. So now we have three keystrokes set to one button. Now if I did that correctly, yeah, so we've set that button to rotate. Now, trust me when I say this, you'll be drawing like freaking Sonic the Hedgehog after you get used to these buttons. This makes life so much easier and I might actually keep, I might actually keep that. So that's uh, rotate. <laughs> rotate. Okay. Yeah, so I've set this to rotate and this to pan, basically. P A N. But it's good to be open minded and and try something different for once. Um, especially with this. Because not many people really use these buttons for anything. I've noticed, well at least with my friends. But I feel like these two options right here are probably the best thing for navigation in general. Because look, I can navigate my scene without even touching the keyboard. Uh, the only downside is um, there's no uh, zoom in or out with this. Um, I would like it if the pens had four buttons so we could add that. Please take these tips and make some awesome drawings because I know a lot of you guys out there have a lot of talent. And that's what I like to see in this place. People putting their talents to good use. I feel like the world could be a better place if we do that. Anyway, yeah, that's basically it for today, guys. Um, I'm gonna make more of these tutorials. I'm gonna make sure, I'm gonna try and make them as short as possible. Anyway, yeah, I hope it helped. Goodbye.